When you step in the ring against Stephanie McMahon, it is the textbook definition of a lose-lose situation. The former women's champion is a majority stockholder in WWE, a WWE executive, the wife of the CEO of Triple H, and on top of that, a shrewd competitor. Remember, lose-lose. And I'd say St. Louis is in for what might prove to be a match of the year candidate here with this one. Well, that rocked her all right. Peyton Royce got her there. Let's quickly talk about Stephanie McMahon for a moment. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. She's certainly a force, Cole, but you have to remember who she's in the ring with there, too. Neither of these girls are pushovers, that's for sure. Another thing is, she has all the tools to be a great one in this division. We'll see how well she develops from here. A dizzying drop for sure. Peyton Royce got her there. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. She's got something in mind. Impressive crossbody. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Stephanie McMahon has her in her sights. She's starting to feel it. She's going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Stephanie certainly is her father's daughter. Three. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. Eight. Back in from the floor. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here, too, Michael. And she delivers a flawless cross body. She's looking at it early. Not this time. I've never seen her miss by so much. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. She goes down like a ton of bricks. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Stephanie McMahon getting put to the test. Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's paying for it. And for her sake, you just hope this isn't the beginning of the end for her, especially considering it's been such a tightly fought contest up to this point. Stephanie McMahon has her in her sights. Stephanie McMahon looking to end it. There it is, pedigree. This is it. This is her chance. Could this be it? I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here.
Now there's the counter. When she gets in attack mode, oh, Peyton just took her out with a leg lariat. She has got to take advantage here. Reverses that one. The end may be near, folks. This match is clearly taking it all out of her. She's in tough shape here, guys, which is a little surprising considering she's been able to execute not one, but two finishers so far here tonight. I don't know how these women are finding it within themselves to power through here. This is amazing. One more shot and she's done. And she comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. Perhaps taking lessons from Hall of Famer Bret Hart with that Russian leg sweep. She's got the shoulders down. And she's toying with her now. Peyton Royce. Suplex. Great usage of her hips. Another one. Could the third time be the charm, Byron? I think so. Boom. This could do it. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over.